Uh, going somewhere we can hit them both. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Two to four? Are you really only doing two to four? It's, wow, it's really only two to four, alright. That's well, kind of a waste of time, but... Yeah, I need to break the computer some other way. Alright, coming down here was a complete waste of time. <laughs> Never mind what I thought I was doing. Are right, you gonna end turn? Physical armor, huh? Eleven one acid. I don't need to use the other attack on him. Actually, can I hit that guy from here? No. I hit that guy anyway. Uh, you... Maybe like go here. Or go here. Oh, I want to axe him too, I guess. Critical hit, well done. Train cognition. Train cognition. Oh, you killed him, amazing. Your physical weapons killed a physically armored enemy. Amazing. You... that does damage. Great. You kill him with a... with a... civil skull. Max machine spirit. I have to remember to break that computer. Can I? I can hit him from there. I can't hit him from there. I can hit him from there. I'm just gonna blast that guy. Power up. Power up. Oh, what? No, blast him there. Oh, no, blast him there. Very cool. Um, since I got nothing else to do, let me uh, blast the computer. Not from there, apparently. I guess I can blast the turrets too, maybe I should do that. Can I- oh, I'm gonna hit my own guy by standing there, huh? Can I not hit my own guy? No. Alright. Let's stand there. Blast the computer. Complete overkill. Over here. Enter. You just come over here. And 
and turn. He can't do anything. We should break this guy. This guy gets two moves per turn, one at the start, one at the end. Let's break the corpse before he comes back to life in some unexpected way. I'm gonna grab some cognition of this guy. Right, and then I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, let me also heal. No, I'm gonna heal afterwards. Uh, if somehow I put my guys in the wrong place, the turrets will hit them at the start of the turn. Alright, nobody got hit. Let me go ahead and heal everybody. And then power up. And then power up. And then... What AoE damage? That's blocked. Right, let me move sideways just a tiny bit. I feel like I'm gonna hit my own guy though. Okay, I, I don't hit my own guy, sweet. Alright, blast that guy. AoE! The next move is gonna hit my own guy. Opportunity? No. Uh, that would hit my own guy. Unless if I stand here, I think. Man, this better work, otherwise I'm gonna get hit. Uh, I can't hit him from there? Crazy. <laughs> this is so awkward. Uh, this is really awkward. I can't- I hit my own guy from here, right? Yeah, I blocked myself. Uh, who moves next? Alright, you- you know what, I'm gonna just stop there before something terrible happens. You move next. You're gonna, like, stand somewhere. Where you can hit him? Okay, there. Apparently you can hit him from there. Apparently. And when he tries to get towards you, we'll get opportunity hits on him as well. I can go ahead and blast him. Oh, we're done. Alright, not bad, not bad. We are at 0 0.2 awakening. We might be able to keep uh, the, the mission awakening at 0. This lock is covered in thick roots that have breached the tomb structure from above, making it impossible to get at the device. Some application of force will be required, but without risking triggering the alarms and other defenses the Necrons are sure to have employed. Demolish. Use explosives to blast the roots, to blast the roots away. Dissolve. Use combinations of chemicals to dissolve and weaken the roots. Deforest. Use bladed weapons and tools to cut the roots away. I think dissolve. An ingenious solution is to mix Prometheum and sacred Pneumo Ranch lubricant to create a potent, a potent acid that weakens and withers the roots. The process is very time consuming, but the application of knowledge to solve this conundrum serves as an object lesson in leave, leaving to the tenants in what? Is that cleaving? In leaving to the tenants of the cult mechanicus. Alright. So we lost initiative, which is probably fine. We don't need initiative, really. And we uh, didn't get any awakening. Are any of these reduce awakening? What was this again? 
injury, right. Uh, I'm gonna have to break at least two consoles, possibly three, in the last mission to get it back to zero. Glyph. Okay, that injured me last time. What is this? Oh my god. Why? Unbelievable. Alright, we're gonna take awaken one more awakening on this mission. Maybe two. If there's no consoles, it'll be two. That, that would suck. Please stop awakening. Scan or destroy that one. Oh, what is that? I have to wait a turn? Jesus. Maybe I can AoE back there. What are these guys, anyway? That guy, Triampletorian are the ones, they're the ones that fly, right? Yeah, these are the guys that fly. Necron Vargard, he, that, that's the guy who teleports. Maybe they'll all just fly out towards me. That'll be good. Alright, who moves first? You move first, but you're not actually going to do anything first. Uh, you, and then you, and then you, and then maybe you, and then whoever that guy is. Well, better objective is scan or destroy. There might not be a uh, kill all enemies after scanning and or destroying. Like it might be escape after scanning. You don't. You never know. Ooh, good dodge. Twice, I don't know why. Oh, you're back there. Um, maybe I should have done this differently. <laughs> you pause. You scan. Let's see what happens when you actually scan this. See, it opens that, and then it says kill all enemies. Okay, I get it. Alright, power up. Power up. Bless. Condition freedom. I believe they'll switch places. I shoot him. Yep. I don't hit him again because... I wanna use the, the linear cannon to shoot that guy. Okay, he has a... I should shoot him. This will kill him. Right, right, good. Uh, extract... Cognition. I think I can reduce it to one and finish everything in this turn, I believe. Let's try it. Right, that just completely destroys him. And turn. You... Oh, 
burn these guys, I guess. They do have physical armor, though. you're not gonna do very much. Oh, you critted it. Oh, nice crit. Wow. Okay, that, that changes things. Let's see what this guy has. Ah, you can't kill these guys. Five to seven, well you might kill this guy. Very good, very well done. And then you go ahead and extract cognition. And extract cognition. And go ahead and end your turn. You... This is all good. You're gonna wait, because you, you can't get out of here. I need these guys to move out of the way. Uh, you... You get the big guns out. Overzealous, ignore armor. Cognition freedom. Blast those two guys. If one shot is not enough, shoot them again! Then you can like walk over here and grab some cognition. Oh, I need to break the console. Crap. Uh, let me. <laughs> Oops. Let me grab cognition and then just step out of the way. <laughs> so wait a minute. I'm not done here with this. Uh, this breaks that. All right, hundred percent. We have to break the console before we end the mission. Right, you go ahead and step out of the way. And turn you... are probably gonna be the one who breaks the console. Mission Freedom. Blast in this direction. Really? He's still alive? Why is that? Go ahead and blast in that direction. Why exactly is he still alive? One health, really. Are you serious? Let me walk over here. Drain cognition. Train cognition. Chop him. Enter. Now you are gonna heal. And I'm just wondering, can you, like, not kill your own guys? Oh, I should have shot first. I should have shot first and then healed. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. You're gonna pass your turn. That guy has seven... This... Six to eight. Really? Oh, you're gonna power up. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, okay. You're gonna power up and then you're gonna hit him. <laughs> and 
and this will end the mission. One awakening, which is not that great. Not as good as zero. But not bad. The lock is a Necron device of extreme cunning and esoteric technology. Opening it without destruction would be a technological conundrum, but there is no telling what defensive devices the Necrons might have employed to punish anyone trying to force the lock. Intelligence. Try to open the lock with the application of technological skill. Strength. Smash the lock open by force. Wisdom. Pray to the Omniside to, in to intercede. Didn't we decide last time that we just smash the lock and it's fine? Like, the last the last time we did a Tesseract lock mission, didn't Scrivola say that actually the way to open it is just to smash it? I'm gonna smash it. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna get two awakening. Unbelievable. Explosives blast the lock open. A burst of radiation floods the chamber, adversely affecting the cohort who are caught in it. An alarm sounds throughout the tomb. Alright, we get two awakening. Unbelievable. The final Tesseract lock is sprung open with the ap application of simple tech principles and enthusiastic application of a noble wrench. Finally, the path to the library of Melob should be opened, but first the cohort must fall back through the tomb to resupply and plan for the next foray. Oh my god, two awakening! Soon Melob's secret will belong to me, addendum, and to mankind, of course. The Skitari units are reporting a whole section of the tomb is opening up. Looks like the way is open, tech acquisitor. Victory imminent. Vindication inevitable. I must remain pragmatic in the face of your enthusiasm, Skivola. It is all very well pursuing a treasure trove such as Milob's library, but not if doing so undoes, undoes our mission completely. Conjecture. Knowledge from the library will furnish us with a weapon against the Necrons. Xenorite principle retrieval. Use the works of the enemy against them. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> 